my worst times of day are in the morning when I first wake up um, and at night when I go to bed because those are the two times that I'm alone. And so I'm just like alone there in my thoughts. Lindsay Chrisley is speaking out. The reality star was on her The Southern Tea podcast where she revealed how she is doing since Todd and Julie Chrisley were sentenced to prison in their tax evasion and bank fraud case, saying she's taking things day by day. In general, I think it's just a day by day thing. I think that feelings and emotions come and go depending on what my day looks like. So if I have a super busy day and you have things to do that like take your mind off of everything, then that's helpful. But whenever you have a day where you're just like sitting in your thoughts, that's horrible. So I've tried to stay pretty busy. And this time of year is pretty busy for us just in general. Lindsay also revealed how she's coping with the situation. Being in my Bible, staying faithful to church, um, being around people who genuinely make me happy, um, focusing on the things that I can control and not focusing on the things that I can't. Um, It's easy to say you don't focus on the things that you can't control. That might be the wrong way to say it because I still think that you focus on them. But knowing that when you are thinking about those things, you know that those things are out of your control. The Chrisley Knows Best stars were sentenced by a federal judge in November in their tax evasion and bank fraud case. Todd received 12 years in prison and Julie received seven years in prison, NBC News confirms. In June, the couple were found guilty in their tax evasion and bank fraud trial. Todd and Julie were indicted by a federal grand jury in August 2019 on 12 counts of bank fraud and wire fraud, tax evasion, and conspiracy, all of which they have previously denied. Access Hollywood spoke with Julie in 2021, and she spoke about how their family deals with drama, including their 2019 tax fraud charges. Our faith, absolutely, I feel like has played a huge part of that. And I think also just to realize that everybody's going through struggles. Ours just happen to make it to the news sometimes. Um, You know, everybody has issues they're dealing with, whether you're dealing with issues with your children or your family members or whatever it, whatever it looks like. We all have something that we're dealing with. Um, but we are also believers that the things that we go through help us get where we want to be. And, and we, we have to learn from those issues and realize that we're no better than anybody else to have to go through trials and go through ups and downs and disappointments that we're not immune to that any more than anybody else is, you know? So I think it's just constantly reiterating to our children to be good, decent, kind people, to, you know, to take care of those that can't take care of themselves, to, um, and and that's what, you know, and I think them seeing us be able to persevere and get through those tough times, you know, I I feel like we'll help them later in life because, you know, there's, there's going to be a time when they're, they're older and, you know, good Lord willing with families of their own. And, you know, they're going to go through hard times. They're going to be like, but look, my mom and dad made it through this, you know, I can do it. And, um, and, and that's kind of how we live our life. That is how we live our life. 